uh, lastly, I'll show you how to build a model using the table and also text format. If you go to node element menu, you can see uh, here nodes table or element table. And also on the work stream menu, if you click on right button, you can go to table menu. On the node as well, we have table menu. Let's go to node table. Here we have all the coordinates of the order node um, in this model file. Let's say I want to uh, put another a node on at six comma zero comma zero. Then uh, input six comma zero comma zero. Then back to civil. Now we have. Uh, the, the additional node. And also, if you like to use uh, Microsoft Access spreadsheet, then we can copy the coordinates from the Excel as well. I'll show you how to do it as well. Let's say you want to uh, do, create additional nodes like along the axis like this. And we can copy it, Control C, and here on the last cell, Control V. Then now you can see a more node. And we can do it in the same way for the element as well. Let's say um, you can um, drag all the elements and copy this and copy it to spreadsheet so this is how you can store all the element uh, information in spreadsheet as well and let's say i'll delete every element and then copy the element table from access spreadsheet you can paste back to uh, my last seven like this So this is how we can use um, table option. We can use a table uh, for material or section as well. Let's say uh, you can copy this to access spreadsheet and paste back to my last table as well. Okay, um, this is done with a table format actually. And I'll show you how to create node and element using a text format. If you go to a tools menu, we can find MCT command share function. So we can search the node and click on insert data. And these are all the node information, the node number and uh, the coordinate. You can copy this also to uh, access spreadsheet and then pass back to my receiver. Let's say we deleted, we don't have node here in this model file now, there's no node and we have text formatted uh, coordinates. I can copy this and go to MCT command shell and paste here and run. Then I'll create um, the node all the node. This is how we can um, text formatted modeling. I can put more additional nodes here and uh, copy, including the additional cells and paste back to my receiver as well. We can do this um, for element as well. So go back to MCT command share. Uh, for this time, I'll search element and insert data and copy all the element information uh, paste to uh, this access pressure. And I will delete every beam element and copy this element. Now we don't have element here, but if we go to MCT convention and paste here, 
and run, then it will generate element. Okay, we can use uh, this MCT command shell function for uh, various function as well, not only for load and element. We can uh, copy uh, the load uh, boundary condition and and so on. Okay. Um, this is pretty pretty much fun uh, done for today. Uh, thank you for watching the webinar. If you have any other question, if you have any question, you can uh, type in uh, the question board here. Uh, there are some uh, questions from the audience. I'll read the question for you and answer them. I'll try the best. So, as I mentioned, our PDF um, file of today's webinar will be uploaded to our website. Um, it will take um, it will take uh, some few days for us to um, organize all the recordings and uh, uh, the slide. So uh, please visit our website here. And Uh, I want to generate cross beams at um, regular intervals on the curved composite gutter. How to generate with single command? Mm, I want to generate cross beams at regular intervals on the curve. Um, I think I need to have some example models so, and try um, some functions. Um, so if the cross beam uh, has radius, we can rotate, I guess, the element. So you can select the first cross beam and then input the uh, radius of the curved bridge and then um, set up original point, then I think you can make um, the cross beams for the curved composite guard bridge. Is it uh, possible to, uh, here's another question, uh, is it possible to create the whole model which including the loading, tendon and vehicle combination in text where in this scenario, uh, Rhino gas chauffeur can have to do this. So, well, um, my CB offer um, provides uh, text formatted modeling using MCT command shell, but it is uh, slightly different from the Rhino. I guess it uses a uh, certain uh, type of uh, sort of uh, computer language, but uh, we have some fixed uh, format. So, if you go to our online menu, you can press F1 key in the MIDA server. Uh, here we can go to appendix. And if you go to com MCT command list, um, it shows what things uh, we can consider, we can use text format. So let's say uh, tendon, we can uh, use we can uh, type we can type a uh, text format of the tandem profile and you can insert this command in uh, MCT command shell and also um, I'll show you so let's say I open a, another model and including tandem or loading and boundary condition. So here we have a 
many of load cases and also we have construction stage on um, construction stages and boundary conditions if you export it um, to mct file let me uh, save it uh, on the desktop It will take a few seconds. Uh, we can export the model into text format like this. That means you can edit the data uh, with uh, text format and apply to MetaCivit. So you can put uh, some additional data for the loadings, for the tendon, uh, whatever it is, and then uh, bring it back to uh, MetaCivit. If you want to input the text format, uh, not only for one particular function, if you input all the things at once, you can use uh, import function here, mct command, mct file. Then it will bring, bring all the things. Here we have uh, load cases and sections and construction stages, boundary conditions, and so on. Um, can you copy uh, load cases and combinations from one model to uh, another uh, for various geometries? Uh, it depends. It depends the model. Um, so if, because uh, the loadings, basically, I'll go to a uh, table format, a uh, table. Um, so here you can see, uh, for example, uh, if you uh, bring the beam, element beam load function to another model, which has a different geometry, it is hard to say it is possible because each loading contains element information. So the load cases have the information about the element number to be applied. So if the if two models have different element number, if you bring it to a different geometry uh, model, then it might show it might show uh, awkward loading. uh so here is another question uh sorry your answer is not clear at all uh please demonstrate the ge uh, generation of cross beams on curved campus garden um you take time for me uh to demonstrate here because uh, i don't have curved campus garden bridge model at the moment so please visit our uh, global technical website and under the question, then I'll prepare one example model and show you an example how to do it. Or you can send your uh, curved composite garden model, then we uh, we will kindly answer you uh, how to how to do it. I'll try that out. Okay. Uh, does Midas contain VBA a VBA editor? Uh, actually, we don't have. Uh, VBA editor, so you can. Um, I saw some people using VBA uh, editor, VBA um, tool to generate all the text. So we have like uh, one more step to use VBA. So using the VBA tool, you can create some macro or software to generate the text format. After generating all these text, you can bring it to my recipe. I hope this can be this can uh, be your answer. Um, can I define a cross beam like box garden section um, by using Excel as sheet and the coordinate? Um, uh, to generate uh, the element, firstly we need to have the node first. The node first, and then when we generate the element, we need to include the node information to be uh, connected each other. 
So if you are sure about the node coordination, the node, the node numbers, you can also generate the element as well, whatever the location is.